This planet will be ours. You lost this war before you started, fool. <laughs> So, Dawn of War 2. I literally started up and was like, you know what, I should probably record the opening cutscene. Partly because it wouldn't let me skip it anyhow. And partly because it kind of states what the hell's going on. Uh, I have not, because of such, I haven't checked anything yet. Uh, what, what are my graphics settings set at? Good, good. Uh, so this game's, what? yeah, I'll turn it on. Physics, terrain detail, ultra, ultra, uh, this will go the whole way, right? And I'm not even going to bother to audio check. I do want to turn this down though. I apologize if that opening cutscene murdered your ears. Except, oh, uh, what? I think it crashed. Uh, uh, yeah, it crashed. Hmm. Well, then, there was something it didn't like. That's, that's a bit awkward. Sega. Okay, now we can actually skip these because we've seen them. So, that's a good start. Always, always good when the first thing you do crashes the game. Uh, kept all those settings, so that's fine. So, I guess we'll jump straight into the campaign. Uh, I don't have this, although I may actually consider getting it. Uh, Please tell me this is disabled by default. I would rather not have somebody join in immediately. Start a new campaign. Name your force commander. Uh, hmm. I'm just gonna go with Sergeant because I'm rusty on my RTS gameplay. And I don't know as much as I'd like to about Subsector Aurelia. Oh, may not have kept my audio settings. This cluster kind of, of worlds stands on the very edge of the Imperium of Man. 
From this frontier came the Blood Ravens, a chapter of the Emperor's own space movements. Davian Thule and a handful of space marines lead the raw recruits defending these worlds. Now, another space marine joins this desperate battle. A newly promoted commander, ready to lead in our darkest hour. You are this space marine. And I've got a bullet in my And head. you will tip the balance toward victory. You are Zyna, a space marine recently promoted to the force rank, er, to the rank of force commander. You have been sent to Calderas to help Captain Davian Thule stave off a massive orc invasion. Such as your reputation, the chapter expects that you alone will be enough to tip the balance of the fight and save Calderas. A man of few words, you are renowned for keeping calm in high-pressure situations and finding a path to victory in the face of overwhelming odds. Oh, and conveniently, they actually let me d dictate when I want to move into the campaign. Calderas. We Blood Ravens select our initiates from this world's fierce warriors. Calderas is the cradle and the future of our chapter. Now, the orcs would take it from us. This we cannot allow. This is ours, orcs. that threaten this world. Fog? You have dropped right into the combat zone. I am north of you with several squads of our initiates. We are under heavy fire and losing control of our flanks. So I'm not by myself. I have support. support. Uh, although I don't remember what happens. Actually, I don't remember what any of these buttons do. With the left mouse button brings up information to help guide you in Dawn of War 2. Okay. Thanks, that was the most useful. Oh, 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 here we go. To move a unit, first select it, then place the mouse cursor where you want it to move to. And finally, click once with the right mouse button. Standard RTS controls, I had figured that much already. Uh, to select your character, click on Yeah, them. I already understand that. You want me to move north, but. Oh, I want me to check audio. No, no, it is turned down. Uh, we'll turn the music down. Uh, speech volume will leave up, and we'll turn the sound effects down to there. Cool. Oh, so. Take cover there. You move up. I believe the yellow means it has cover. Uh, double clicking allows me to select everything, I believe. Maybe not. Oh. Move over here, I want you to get some better cover. And you're not in cover. Uh, move up to there, you will still be in cover from the looks of it. Uh, you are not going to be in cover. But, okay, fine, just go out in the open and fight. Whatever. Have I taken any damage? That's not helpful. Unless it, oh right, right. The way this it works, it's in a sort of a bulk thing. Uh, so I can revive nearby incapacitated stone squad leaders and heal nearby squads. Uh, I have three of those. It looks like. Cursor specified location with the chapter's figure smashing through objects and knocking enemies back. So I believe that means it destroys cover. Uh, what about you? 
you guys when you get tactical advance for expression and reduce incoming range damage and cost of movement speed. And a frag grenade of which I have five. I will keep that frag grenade actually. Uh, how's the squad doing? 162 out of 175. And he seems to have a natural regeneration. And he has an energy requirement which is needed for charge. Charge there, though. Select everybody, and we will move up. That's Reinforcements have arrived. We'll activate tactical advance and move up to number. What are you doing, man? Attack. Awkward key though, I don't like the idea of being on backslash. I want you to a attack move up to there. I would like you guys to move up and I would like a frag grenade there. I've noticed this is still a lot a bit loud. Uh, activate your tactical advance and continue moving there. What? Oh, right, it's an attack move. Uh, you have charge. I would like you to charge at these guys. Break their cover. Uh, these guys, I believe, have weak melee. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, actually. I'm not sure how to see said information. And I seem to have found some kind of item. Oh, okay. War gear is special equipment that makes your characters more powerful. Enemies will sometimes drop war gear when they die. If you pick up a piece of war gear, click on it with the left mouse button, you'll have access to that war gear once you've completed the current mission. I need you and Sergeant Tarkas to take charge of driving the orcs back. Move up to the ruins east of here and prepare to repel the next orc wave. Uh, where and who is Sergeant Tarkas? Ready, repositioning. Oh, okay. So Tarkas is the guy leading this other squad then. And he's the one with frag grenade. Gotcha. Uh, I do want to tweak the. I'll turn the sound effects volume down to here, and slightly reduce music. Move to the ruins. Is this really going to mean only one person's in cover, or? Oh. Orc vehicle, stay in cover. That truck has a heavy gun. Oh, uh, what is the range on the frag? Uh, frag there. The Sir, I'm gonna need you to move back. Uh, everyone, get over here in this cover. And these Yumis is barking up me truck. Back through the tunnel. Okay, apparently he backed up after I explodicated. Uh, charge this way. Very good. I would like you guys to move up to this cover. I would like you to move up to this cover. Uh, I'm assuming they can't see through that. That's why they're not doing anything. Well done, Commander. And I Those orcs have, have up. opened a path through the hill somehow. Can I? Oh. Move forward and seal it. Also took on quick. He's right nap about that truck of his. More orcs. And lots of cover to use on our approach. 
Charge through. Break their cover. Don't let them have that. Kill this guy. Very good. Advance over here. Commander, the orcs are using a guard tower near the cave mouth. My squad can take it out with a grenade. Fire. Support item increase. I'm assuming that's sort of if I had used all my grenades. Uh, tactical advance, please. I'm gonna need you to come over here and take this guy out. He's getting obnoxious. Uh, frag grenade the tower, please. Tower down. Okay. Seem to be doing all right the so far. The Greenskins are clearly using that mine as a passage, Commander. Seal that entrance by any means necessary. The orcs have stacked fuel and ordnance near the entrance over there. A well-placed grenade should ignite it and bring the whole cave down. Uh, enemies enemies and buildings are much harder to kill. Try using frag grenades or explosive devices to get rid of them. Ability range I had already do. figured out. Yeah, so, by any means necessary, use frame grenades on the explosives. And what would you do, game? Wait, it told me to target this. Destroy for supplies and ammunition. Oh, and it did give me another one of these. Uh, attack this. Okay, yeah, it refilled my stimulants, which I hadn't used any Tactical of. Marines awaiting orders. Destination and my frag grenades. Uh, I would like you to grenade that. Move back. Good work, Space Marines. The Greenskins will not be using that passage again anytime soon. But the leader managed to escape through the tunnel before we could kill him. That was our chance to cut this invasion off at the head. He will show himself again, Tarkas. And when he does, we will be ready. Thunderhawks are en route. Prepare for extraction. None can stop the crusade of the righteous. Green skin horde. Mission success. Reward. Improved chainsword. Uh, they both leveled up. Very good. And I got an improved bolter as well. Improved defensive bonus while in cover. Usable by a lot of things. Scatter damage, huh? I'm not entirely sure what scatter damage is. Uh, damage versus infantry 100%, heavy infantry 40%. I'll have to see what is available on him currently. Welcome aboard Strike Cruiser Armageddon, Commander. Calderas is currently facing a massive orc invasion that threatens to spill over to the entire sector. Urgent distress signals are coming from other nearby sectors, but we must concentrate our efforts here. I need you to take charge of an assault that stalled on the surface below. Drop to the point marked on the planet map and start pushing into the orc's flank. Okay, so I could use an improved bolter, which has a higher range, a lower accuracy, a higher attack speed, uh, and does overall more damage. It does slightly less damage to vehicles, but it doesn't really mean much because my vehicle damage is absolutely up. Abysmal. Oh, I have points available. Uh, dude. Charge range is increased and its energy cost is decreased. Really resistant knockdown and vulnerable for a short period of time after two victory. Gain a significant chance to instantly regain consciousness when incapacitated. When doing so, the Force Commander regains health and gains a brief speed and damage increase. Uh, ranged, specialized in special weapons training. Force Commander learns to fire plasma guns and flamers while moving. Uh, unlock weapons. Force Commander becomes able to heavy equip heavy bolters, missile launchers, and plasma cannons. Every shot fired gains a chance to deal a killing blow to most infantry targets. When active, Battlecry increases this chance. Uh, battle cry unlock ability for a limited time. The force commander performs special attacks with every hand-to-hand -hand strike, dealing damage and knocking enemies to the ground. Additionally, the force commander cannot be knocked down for the duration. Hmm. Uh, when performing a special attack in hand-to-hand -hand combat, strike with a fury that deals additional explosive damage. Regain health when killing an opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
and no mercy, no respite. While battle cry is active, the force commander's hand-to-hand -hand strikes deal killing blows to most infantry. Other enemies are not back. And will, which has to do with energy, apparently. Gain accessory slot. Additionally, the force commander regains energy when killing an enemy. Uh, equipped drop pod beacons and orbital bombardment beacons can each be used twice in a single deployment. Battlecry now restores energy to nearby allies. If Battlecry is not unlocked, the commander gains the Inspiring Shout ability, which does the same. Hmm. Uh, the idea of hand-to-hand, -hand, I don't know, it, plus I'm closest to getting Battlecry, which is fun fun. So I'm actually going to go and get Battlecry, because I want to have an extra ability. Uh, I don't know what its actual energy cost is, because for some reason this refuses to tell me. Uh, do I want to use the bolter? Uh, hmm. Oh, and Tarkus has two points as well. Uh, well, Tarkus is an entire squad. And I would like their squad to focus more on range. So this will increase their range damage. What? Huh? Really? I could... Hmm. Nifty. Uh, however, I think I'm going to give his squad the bolter and increase their range damage by a pretty significant amount, it looks like. Uh... I'm not sure how I feel about the stimulant kit. It has uses, but I don't really have any of their options at the moment, so I might as well keep it. And with that, I'm going to call this the end of the first episode, I think. I uh, do not want to invite a friend to play with me, because I don't think anybody I know really has it. And I'm, I have no idea what any of this really means. So, this is the squad loadout screen, and I have... Wait, what are these? Oh, okay, these are gameplay tips. War gear, I mean, we already established what it is. Equip it to make your thing better. Level up, you gain attributes based on what you put stuff into as well. So, I gained melee damage and melee skill from also going into that. So, I may actually go for a very melee-heavy setup... Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's available to me, but I will figure that out. I'm not entirely sure what the accolade is for. Uh, I'm assuming Savior Score is for saving people. And I'm assuming Warrior Score is for murdering things. Yes. So, I think I have a general idea of what's going on. Possibly, maybe. Why is there an up symbol? I don't... I don't quite understand what these symbols mean. And... I also don't... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know enough about Warhammer to understand what some of these stats mean. Like... I mean, I'm sure I could probably mouse over them in-game and get an idea if I can actually find the stats anywhere in-game, but... Oops. This guy got a chain sword, and this guy got an improved bolter. Uh, so yeah, I'm probably going to focus on melee with my guy, so we'll see what I do there. Uh, in the meantime, yep, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.